Hello and welcome to this video on how Barracuda sets landmarks in the next generation firewalls era. My name is Kurt Martens and I'm the pre-sales manager at Kappa Data. Kappa Data is a value-add distributor that is present in Belgium, the Netherlands and Luxembourg and recently started a cooperation with Contica Solutions in Poland. This is the first video of a series on the Barracuda Next Gen Firewall F-Series or using the previous naming convention, the Barracuda NG Firewall. We will go through the most important features of the product to give you a more in-depth overview of the next-gen firewall. Now, before we start, let's take a closer look at Barracuda. Barracuda is bringing security and storage solutions to the market that really simplifies the life of the IT department, no matter the size of the organization. Are you in need for a small, medium or enterprise solutions? No need to look any further. Barracuda has the right size that fits the organization's need. Now, Barracuda's portfolio can be divided into two major categories. Security and storage. Now, let's start with the storage part. Well, okay, to be honest, Barracuda does not really have storage products like network attached storage or flash based storage. Their lineup is all about the data protection like comprehensive all-in-one backup solutions and message archiving solutions. They also have CUDA Drive, which was formerly copy.com, a cloud-based file sharing and storage solution for enterprise organizations. On the other hand, looking at the security solutions, Barracuda has become famous with its anti-spam and web security products. They also have web application firewalls, application delivery and control load balancers, link balancer, SSL VPN and, last but not least, the next generation firewalls. Now, many years ago, the traditional firewall was using IP addresses and port numbers to block and allow application traffic. Most applications were using a unique port number, so it was quite easy to allow or deny them based on the port number. Later came the UTM firewall. UTM stands for Unified Threat Management. UTM brought URL filtering, anti-spam and anti-malware protection to the firewall and functioned as a second layer of defense on your perimeter. UTM functionality was typically less feature-rich than dedicated standalone solutions and are consuming a lot of CPU power. The next generation era is all about application control and identity awareness. I name it the so-called who's and the what's. Today, we want to be able to specify filtering rules based on an individual person or a group of persons and allow them to access specific applications independent to the port number being used. For example, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, Salesforce and so on and so on. Barracuda NG Firewall has more advanced features than its competitors as the NG Firewall is also a true connectivity gateway that can be managed from a centralized control center. To be short, Barracuda's version of the next-gen Firewall is one on steroids. Now, we will cover all different aspects of the Barracuda next-gen Firewall F-Series. To start with, security. Application detection is one of the so-called next-generation functions and gives you the possibility to create security policies at application level or layer 7. We need to be able to block or limit applications as a TCP UDP port numbers are being consolidated. More and more applications are using HTTP or HTTPS. Now, HTTP and its secure version HTTPS are usually allowed even if you are connected on a private, corporate or guest network. But why do we need to detect traffic at application level? Well, we have to decide if the application is a business critical application or if there are known security flows related to this. 
business critical applications should be granted a better quality of service, while non-business critical applications, also known as the most bandwidth consuming applications, need to run on the background. Barracuda's next-gen firewall can detect up to a few thousand different applications and sub-applications. They are all categorized by a predefined risk factor ranging from 1 to 4, where level 4 is the most cumbersome application. If a particular application is not known by the firewall, you always can create your own signature or pattern to identify this. If required, you can redirect the application flow to the optional malware detection engine or the URL filtering engine of Barracuda to eliminate further risks if needed. Also, it is possible to create a filtering policy based on the application risk number. So, for example, it is possible to deny all applications with a risk category of 4. Today, we need to take into account that most application providers are using SSL encryption to make content invisible and secure on the Internet. With SSL encryption enabled, you have a secure end-to-end -end encryption of your data between client and server. That comes with a challenge. For the firewall to inspect the content and detect the application that is being used. Therefore, the firewall needs to support some kind of SSL interception. The Barracuda Next Gen Firewall F-Series has implemented two different methods. The first, SSL Lite. Now, SSL Lite will use the certificate common name and server name identification information to analyze which application is being used. This has two potential downsides. If Google, for example, starts a new service, but is using the Google.com certificate, the firewall will detect it as good old plain Google. Now, the second downside is that some of these sub-applications cannot be identified. And the second method is a full SSL interception. This method will use a man-in-the-middle technique and it will represent its own certificate to the client. So it can decrypt all data from the client and will use a new set of keys based on the service certificate to send this encrypted to the Internet. With this technique, the firewall is able to detect the real content of the data. So application detection will become more granular. Exceptions must be configured for banking applications, though, as these websites are typically detecting man-in-the-middle attacks. SSL interception is included for free with the Barracuda Next Gen Firewall F-Series. The firewall can be integrated with a lot of different user databases. And the most popular integrations are done with the external radio server and LDAP. And, of course, the most common used integration is the transparent authentication within your Active Directory Windows domain. Therefore, Barracuda has developed two agents to process transparent authentication. The first is the DC agent and the second is the terminal server agent. Now, the domain controller agent monitors the authentication event log from your Microsoft server environment. And as soon as a user authenticates with the domain, for example, logs into the domain with its Windows credentials, the DC agent will capture this information from the log and sends it to the Barracuda Next Gen Firewall to correlate the IP address of the client with the username. So whenever the firewall looks to a source IP address of a packet, it can show the user information or make even filtering policies possible on a user. Now, with the terminal server agent, you cannot map the source IP to a user, as the source IP addresses are identically for each and every user working on the terminal server environment. Therefore, 
The terminal server agent will map a specific set of source port numbers to each user to make it possible to identify them. When using non-transparent authentication methods, you will need a captive web portal to request the user's credentials. Now we can start making policies based on users and applications. We can block specific applications for all users. We can allow specific sub-applications only for authenticated users and within a specific time frame, such as lunch break hours. It is also important to select applications for background traffic, such as online streaming video and update services for operating systems and applications. Typically, these require a lot of bandwidth, but are forced to the background when other applications require more priority bandwidth at the same time. Like, for example, uh, business critical applications such as Salesforce, Office 365, remote desktop and voice over IP. As we are talking firewall, there is need for an advanced intrusion detection and prevention system. You can create different IPS policies that can be linked to your filtering rules to detect cross-site scriptings, denial of service attacks, SQL injections, rootkits and so on. The IPS feature is included for free with the Barracuda Next Gen Firewall F series. You can create basic filtering rules based on source and destination IP addresses and port numbers and add specific tasks to it, such as application control, URL filtering and antivirus scanning. Now let's start with the URL filtering. This feature comes included with the Energize update service from Barracuda, which is required for each base system you buy. It is using the Barracuda online categorization database to match a specific URL to a particular category. Once the mapping is done, it is cached locally on the firewall to speed up categorization in future. This Barracuda database is identical to the Barracuda's dedicated web filtering solution, so that means that we have a real full-blown URL database that can run either in proxy mode or inline mode on the firewall. The inline mode is the most interesting choice as you do not have to configure proxy settings on all clients. Next, the antivirus scanning. This feature can be obtained with the optional malware protection subscription from Barracuda and uses the Avira and Clem AV engine. As the antivirus engine can only detect basic malware, there is need to have a more advanced system that protects you against specialized malware that evades traditional IPS and AV engines. Also, you need protection against zero-day malware exploits, targeted attacks and advanced persistent threats. Hence, the advanced threat detection from Barracuda, which is a cloud-based solution that works as an add-on to the anti-malware subscription license. How it works? Well, a client makes a file download. The file is being scanned by the anti-malware engine of the Barracuda NextGen firewall, and if suspicious, the AV engine will block the download but if not suspicious, the file is being forwarded to the Onbox ATD engine. The firewall hashes the data into a unique fingerprint and is being sent to the ATD cloud from Barracuda for further inspection. If the cloud ATD database recognizes this fingerprint, the system can respond immediately with a result and the file, if not suspicious, is sent to the user. This all happens on the fly and only has a very small and unnoticeable performance impact for the user. But if the fingerprint is not known in the ATD Cloud database from Barracuda, the file needs to be uploaded to the Barracuda Cloud for further inspection. The ATD receives the file and will run this parallel in different simulated and sandboxed Windows environments. 
the ATD engine will keep track of all actions the file takes once it is executed in those platforms and will make an intelligent analysis out of it. This behavioral analysis is done on PDF documents, executables, MSI and DLL files, but also on Microsoft Office files, compressed files and archives, as well as Android APKs. Once the analysis is finished, the ATD will hash the file to make a new fingerprint. This is added to the database together with the analysis report and status and makes it available for the entire ATD community and ecosystem. If the file is not known, you can configure your firewall to either wait for the response of the analysis before forwarding it to the user, which gives you, of course, a more secure environment, but it can involve with a small slowdown experience for the user itself. Or secondly, you can forward the file immediately to the user and get notified afterwards by the system. It is clear that the first method is the most secure one. From the monitoring system of the Barracuda NextGen firewall, you have an overview of all the scanned files by the ATD system of Barracuda. You have the possibility to right-click an entry and download the summary or even a full report. This document contains a list of all actions the program made while being investigated by the ATD system such as registry, reads and writes, accessing of files, writing of files on the system, and so on and so on. To wrap up the security chapter of Barracuda's next-gen firewall F-series, well, the firewall comes full-featured. You have all the next-generation features like application detection and user awareness at your fingertips. Policies can be linked to specific templates of traffic shaping. The device supports SSL interception and can even look into this traffic for URL filtering and malware detection and the advanced threat detection on top of it. The system also has a full IPS system that can detect denial of service attacks and geo-based IP control. The appliance works together with cloud services from Barracuda for URL filtering, ATD and regular maintenance updates with the Energize Updates database service. For the other features of the Barracuda NextGen Firewall F-Series, please check out the other videos to get a full understanding on this highly capable firewall. The best features are still yet to come. Now, for further questions, don't hesitate to contact us or visit our website at www.capadata.eu. Thank you and see you next time.